Let's see what we can find him. Whenever Holly Selig needs a quiet place to recharge, a little escape from the day to day, she doesn't have far to go. You might have to wade into the middle. Because right in her backyard is an oasis that transforms in front of her. It's peaceful. After working all day, this is where I want to be. But this isn't just her sanctuary. Can you get it for me? It's theirs, too. Once you know what you're looking for, it's they jump out at you. Hundreds of butterflies, monarchs, in every stage of their lives growing in her garden. That is one of the eggs. In fact, so many monarchs stop in Holly's garden during their migration to Mexico every year. There you go. Her home outside Gettysburg has been designated an official monarch butterfly way station. So bring them in here. I know I'm making a difference. She has already raised, recorded, and released more than 800 of them just this summer. It's so cool to do this. I never thought, ever, ever, ever thought I would be doing something like this. But the butterflies share more than an address with Holly. They remind her of family, specifically her mom, Joan, who died from breast cancer. It was at her funeral three years ago when a butterfly first caught Holly's eye. I walked over to it, just not even thinking, just put my hand out and it crawled on my finger and it sat there. For the rest of the service, that butterfly greeted the guests and stayed close the entire time. It grew into this. And when Holly got home, she let her backyard fill with milkweed, the monarch caterpillar's only source of food, and watched the memories of her mom multiply. They're just, they're all over. Being out here, it's like I'm continually getting reminded that I'm not alone, that she is still with me. In Cumberland Township, Matt Barcaro, WGAL News 8.